security that Nana talked about, that we are all one family and have allies in our resettlement here. We don't consider ourselves aliens or strangers or foreigners, although we come from foreign lands. You know, history has put us in that position. But we have been invited back home by the grace of Nana, who has made land available during the year of return, to make the year of return a reality, make it have some substance. And so this is an ongoing work to bring into manifestation an idea. And it's a collective responsibility that we have to make this idea work. And none of us are naive to think that this is going to be easy without challenges. And those challenges will be able to be overcome when we see ourselves as partners in addressing whatever challenge that comes up. So today, Nana, I'm happy that you have called this meeting without delay. There has been a lot of chat and chatter that has gone on, and there have been a lot of outside speculation about what's going on here. But we are the masters of our own fate, and we have to be able to control the narrative of whatever is being spoken about with the development of this Pan-African community. Nana was giving a briefing in his office before this meeting, and he reiterated that this has not been done successfully in Africa since our history has been interrupted 500 years ago, that brothers and sisters have been called back home from the diaspora to reunite on the African continent to try to build a collective future for ourselves. And we have active enemies that would not like to see this succeed. Many of us have seen on the social media, people have taken control of a narrative that have never visited here, never did any worthy interviews with anybody here, have not spoken to the real residents here who are facing the everyday challenges, but they have an opinion, and they put those opinions out there that doesn't necessarily reflect the reality that's on the echo, echo, echo city. Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. It's a real time today. We are talking about Asebu security. Yes, we're talking about Asebu security. Today is Monday, and I'm here at the palace where the chief of Asebu is meeting up uh, with stakeholders in terms of security here in Asebu. So basically, uh, we are looking at the best ways to put Asebu Pan African in a safe zone for everybody who has decided to go and live. There. So um, the commander of police within Central Region, we have two of them, with the district commander as well, with the um, crime investigators as well. Uh, we have the chief and uh, his and Toraji's people. Uh, we have the African diaspora community, both living in Asebo Pan-African and then maybe living in Cape Coast. Basically, like I said, we are looking at um, the security of the people of Asebo, the whole of Asebo, not only uh, those at the uh, Pan-African village. So there was a lot of conversation that took place today. And one promise that came up was from the police department was that immediately they are going to set up a patrol base. Yes, they are going to set up a patrol base here in Asebo uh, community in, in relation to security issues ongoing here within Asebo and then Asebu Pan-African village. So I'll bring you more as we discuss the issues here.
Titi, or be my man, you feel. Or my end, or any day, no, yet, why you are hot. No way there. You soon don't have one more. Bibi, no way. This morning, from the protocol chief of our civil traditional council, he says there's a reason why we are here gathered this morning. And that is the reason why the Central North Police Commander for Central Region is here, and the Central South Police Commander for Central Region is also here, as well as the Abra Sebu Kwamankase District Commander of Police. Uh, we have here the Abra Sebu Kwamankase District BNI officer also in our midst. Obviously, the discussions will have to do with security matters. So this is the main reason why we are here. So I think this is what he just said and took opportunity to welcome you to the Paramount Chief's Palace. Thank you very much. Of our sister Naomi, and then also with the, um, the incident at Pan African Village. I was in Kumasi last week, and Friday I heard about this news, so I decided to come down uh, to see what actually um, has taken place. So I came yesterday and had some discussions with some of my elders, and fortunately we had also some discussions with the police commanders. Like it has been said, we have the two commanders uh, commanding the, the uh, Central North and Central, both of them here, because a civil is between these two uh, commands. And then uh, we have our district commander also with us. So we are blessed today uh, to have this top level, and then the BNI is also here. So we have the top national security operators here with us. The reason is, first of all, as for the Medat um, Kipos area, I think it's something beyond us. That is not the reason why we are here, but because she's one of us, uh, we also have to sympathize and send our condolences to the family of, of the lady. But we are concerned with what is happening at Pan-African village. Uh, people are breaking into people's room, uh, homes and, and so on. And it's a matter of concern to me for such things to happen. And we've communicated that uh, to the police. And so they are here today to help us to solve this security problem there. Uh, we are going to share ideas as to, we want to know from you what we can do. But now we have the top people are here. Talk to them. Tell them what you really need to keep you safe at Pan-African Village. I have had some initial meetings with them, uh, but we also want to listen from you. And they will also suggest to us how we, we ourselves can also keep safe at Pan-African Village. So this uh, discussion period, a, a meeting for us to share ideas uh, to protect ourselves at Pan-African Village. I appreciate the security problem there because it's a very wide area and uh, we don't have anybody patrolling there every time. But we have responsibility to ensure that everybody is safe at that place. More so, whilst you are here on my land, I have the responsibility to make sure that each one of you is safe. And I can't take your safety for granted. That's why we've managed to get the top uh, police. Today, they are very busy, but they have decided to join us and share ideas with us. In the afternoon, we're going to receive another delegation from Accra. Uh, I understand the IGP himself is also coming this afternoon. So you see, we are not taking your security for granted. We are very, very serious about the safety of everybody here. And so feel free, free at home. Let's share ideas and let's see how together we can protect you at Pan African Group. Thank you very much for this initial discussion. At this point, few people that have been affected security-wise in the Pan-African village made their concerns known to the chief and his elders, as well as to the police department. In response to this, the commander made mention that they are going to immediately with effect, set up a patrol team or a patrol base there in Asebu and the Asebu Pan-African village. When this 
news got to the inspector general of police. He taxed myself and the central regional commander because we are on the boundary for us to collaborate and see how we will ensure. For the cases that have been reported, I believe that I have a team here. I have my team here. And uh, when you said investigator, can you identify the investigator here? He also mentioned that we as individuals should also take it upon ourselves to make sure that we have taken security seriously. Whenever we go to our rooms or we are in our houses, we need to find a way to secure ourselves. He also made mention that Asebu Pan-African is growing. It is developing, affecting the Asebu community itself. So definitely it will attract bad people either within the community or outside the community. And to our family here today, I'd like to thank Almighty God for having brought this session together today. We know that we have taken a loss from one of our sisters um, who lost her life and been murdered. And I thank Nana for the moment of silence that we started off with to acknowledge that her life has been lost. Uh, it's no small thing, it's a big thing. I'd like to also take the opportunity to, while the two commanders are here, um, and some of the staff, to thank you for the swift apprehension of the alleged suspects in this case. It is very important that we feel the security that Nana talked about, that we are all one family and have allies in our resettlement here. We don't consider ourselves aliens or strangers or foreigners, although we come from foreign lands. You know, history has put us in that position. But we have been invited back home by the grace of Nana who has made land available during the year of return to make the year of return a reality, make it have some substance. And so this is an ongoing work to bring into manifestation an idea. And it's a collective responsibility that we have to make this idea work. And none of us are naive to think that this is going to be easy without challenges. And those challenges will be able to be overcome when we see ourselves as partners in addressing whatever challenge that comes up. So today, Nana, I'm happy that you have called this meeting without delay. There has been a lot of chat and chatter that has gone on, and there have been a lot of outside speculation about what's going on here. But we are the masters of our own fate, and we have to be able to control the narrative of whatever is being spoken about with the development of this Pan-African community. Nana was giving a briefing in his office before this meeting, and he reiterated that this has not been done successfully in Africa since our history has been interrupted 500 years ago. That brothers and sisters have been called back home from the diaspora to reunite on the African continent to try to build a collective future for ourselves. And we have active enemies that would not like to see this succeed. Many of us have seen on the social media, people have taken control of a narrative that have never visited here. Never did any worthy interviews with anybody here. I've not spoken to the real residents here who are facing the everyday challenges, but they have an opinion, and they put those opinions out there that doesn't necessarily reflect the reality that's on the ground. So all of us have a collective responsibility to manage the affairs of a Sable's development, to control the narrative of a Sable's story, and to not ignore whatever challenges we got, not to ignore any negative things that are happening, but to make sure that the positive things are not suppressed and are not pushed off the stage. So today's event is important. It's only the first episode of it. Even this afternoon will be a follow-up. But we thank the commanders and the representatives of the Ghana Police Service that are here today to make sure that we know that we are not alone, we're not stuck somewhere without assistance, and that um, we do have allies and that all of us have, again, as I said, a collective role and most of all, responsibility for not only our isolated welfare, but for the welfare of every African anywhere in the world. We're under assault, assault everywhere we are. So we must protect ourselves and Mother Africa, wherever we are. And every African life is a value. Every African life is a value. So in that respect, again, thank you, Nana.
campaign to the commanders and to our community, those who are active in our community. Not everybody's activists in our community. Some are just observers and commentators. But those who came out today, you show your face today, those who are active today, remain active. And those who are passive, let them know to have mouth to talk, we need action to back it up and responsibility. So with that. <laughs> If you want to recruit somebody to work for you, we have the facility where we will take the person's fingerprints, find out what the person oh. says, and then we call it clearance. We will check if the person has no criminal records. We have that facility in uh, Asim Fusu, and we have the same activities. So we can go a step further to ensure that we have the person's fingerprints and details. So in case anything happens, it's easy to trace a person. I hope we are clear on that. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. Thanks. 